I'm Catherine and I'm the Customer Services Manager for Livingston. Livingston are Europe's largest rental company for test and measurement equipment. Not only do we want to provide you with the latest equipment, but we'd also like to show you how to use the instruments too. Here is a short video showing one of our more popular products. Set up. Powering up the splicer. Turn on the fusion splicer. It will go through an initialisation process which will initialise each of the motors in turn. Once it has completed its initialisation it will display ready in the centre of the screen. Selecting fibre type. The top of the screen will display the fibre type that the splicer is currently set up to splice. To change the fibre splice, touch the splice program icon. This will then display the options available. Select the required fibre type and program from this menu. Setting the heater. The top also displays the heater settings. These may also be changed depending upon the type of protection sleeve that is being used. To change, touch the icon and select the appropriate setting for the type of protection sleeve being used. Fibre preparation. To ensure a good splice, it is essential that the fibre itself is prepared correctly. Stripping. Using a specialist fibre stripper, strip approximately 30 to 40 millimetres of fibre coating from the two ends of the fibre that are to be joined. Cleaning. Clean the fibre ends using lint-free gauze and pure alcohol. Adding protection sleeve. Ensure that you place the protective sleeve on one of the fibres at this point and slide it up the fibre so that it does not obstruct the use of the splicer. Cleaving. Place the end of the fibre into the cleaver, aligning the end of the fibre coating with the 16mm mark on the ruler of the cleaver. Close the coating clamp lid, then lower the top clamp lever. Slide the blade carriage to the rear of the cleaver. Do not be tempted to repeat this action. Open the top clamp lever and the coating clamp lid and remove the fibre. Ensure safe disposal of the offcut. Repeat this process for the second fibre. Placing the fibres in the splicer. Once the fibre fibres have been cleaved, they should be inserted into the fusion splicer. This is done by opening the hood of the splicer and setting the fibre end between the edge of the V-groove and the electrode. Close the fibre coping clamp lid to hold the fibre in place. Avoid touching the fibre end face against any surfaces as this can damage the fibre end resulting in a poor or failed splice. Repeat this for both fibre ends. Carrying out an arc test. Close the hood of the splicer and if this is the first splice carry out the arc test. This is done to optimise the arc for pre the prevailing environmental conditions. This is done by touching the arc test icon on the splicer screen. The system displays arc test ready. At this point, touch the star shot icon to start the arc test. If an error message is displayed, such as arc too weak, prepare the fibres again and repeat the process until the message arc OK is displayed. Once the arc OK is displayed, re-prepare the fibres and place them in the splicer. Carrying out the splice. To start the splice, touch the start icon. 
The splicer will then carry out a perfusion check and inspect the fibre ends for a good cleaving dust. The arc is then generated and the fibres fused together. Verify the splice. Once the splice is completed, the splicer will estimate the loss in a splice and display the result. At this point, you can store the splice data and add your own notes by selecting the data icon and the memo icon. If you wish to check the splice image, select the tools icon. You can then adjust the image and also store it to an SD card if desired. To ensure a good splice, a proof test is conducted. The clamps in the splicer will gently pull the fibre. Opening the splicer hood will automatically start the proof test. The fibre should not be removed until ready is shown in the display. Shrink protective sleeve in oven. When removing the fibre from the cleaver, take care to keep the fibre straight and do not flex it, as this can cause the fibre to break or fracture the splice. Slide the protective sleeve over the fibre splice, ensuring that the protective sleeve covers the fibre coating for both fibres. Lower the fibre and protective sleeve into one of the ovens and push down. The oven clamps and lid will close. Touch the heater icon and the heating process will start. On completion of the heating cycle, the splicer will give a bleep. Remove the splicer and protective sleeve and place in the cooling tray. Job done. The splice has now been completed. We hope you found that video useful and informative. If you have any rental test equipment needs, please give us a call and you can speak to one of our technical engineers that will help you with your specific application.